and down. And after those two were over, the coolest part was they were moving the ball, doing a lot. Uh, we only had six plays and didn't do well with any of them. And when it was all said and done, it was only 6 0. So we were able to weather the storm and get our rhythm back. Kind of on the, the red zone defense, those first two drives, how big was that just to keep the offense? Um, you didn't have to get away from anything, I'm sure, offensively, because it was 6 0 instead of 14. That was huge. I mean, just for us to not really feel like we were getting going um, with some of the mistakes that we made and to watch them get going um, with some of the explosives they made and just moving the ball pretty well. Um, but it was huge to hold up to two field goals. And um, despite all that, the third possession, we got the ball. They scored twice, but we were only down six. And we just got one drive together and got the lead back. So it was, it was a, a huge deal and a very good feeling. Um, I mean, I thought the first play just, you know, it's hard when someone gets tipped. I'll see the see the play and, um, you know, the penalty wasn't him. The loss of run wasn't, but uh, we had some tough third downs there. Um, I know he had a chance on Christian, but I think he had to get rid of it a little bit too early. So that ball sailed on that third and nine, I think it was, or third and 11. Um, but when our whole offense, everybody settled down, which included Brock too, myself, and I thought he played a hell of a game. Um, I think he's had that for a few weeks now. I mean, Debo was banged up for a little bit, missed some games. Um, he's been getting back into his rhythm, and um, been, he's been really close here for a couple of weeks now. And he got the ball in some good situations. And when he does, he, I, when I say good situations, I mean to get like six to eight yards. And um, he turns it into what you guys see. So he's as good as there is when that ball's in his hands, and um, people don't like to tackle him. Scott, what did, you, what did you see Vincent on their sideline that led to the Trey Greenlaw ejection, and did you object at all to the fact that it was a non-player, non-coach involved from there? Oh, yeah, that's why I tried my hardest not to lose my mind. Hopefully, I didn't embarrass myself too bad. Um, but yeah, once I, I didn't get to see it all from where I'm at, but when I start hearing people explain it to me and stuff, and um, I just can't believe someone not involved in a football game um, can taunt our players like that and put their hands in our guy's face. And um, from what I was told, um, Trey did it back to him, and I was told that he kind of mashed him in the face a little bit, so he got ejected. But um, it was a it was a very frustrating play. I got to watch it to have a true opinion on it. But um, I loved how we rallied after it. Did Sirianni say something to you on the way out there? Was that what he's talking to you about? Yeah, he was awesome. He just he wasn't a fan of what happened on the play either, and uh, he handled it with total class and um, it was it was real cool. Yeah, I don't think the emotions were there like you would think. I mean, I think if we would have opened up in week one here, I think that would have been a real big deal. Um, but just, I think, going through the season, and he's played a lot of football, um, and his arms felt great. So I think coming back here, it's, I mean, the emotions are more about going against a, such a good team and um, playing in such a hard place to play. Um, but I don't think there was, you can ask him when he gets in here, but I don't think he was real consumed with the injury that he got. The offensive line, Kyle, what did you see out of that? I mean, they were able to stick with the run and get it going there in the second half, especially. I mean, that's as big of a challenge, that group. I mean, they got some really good players rushing. Um, I was hoping Fletcher wasn't going to play today, but he surprised us a little bit there in pregame, uh, finding out he went. So they had a huge challenge today, and um, I'll feel it better on the plane. But when you run the ball like that and you're able to throw the ball, I, I know they must have had a hell of a game. Um, well, there wasn't much, there's just, there's plays and sometimes when a guy gets a tip, a play doesn't work. Sometimes when we don't throw a, a bubble and hand it off and a backer's unblocked, you know, on a mistake on targeting, you get a loss of five and, um, and then when we get on third and long, we can't hold on for that because their D-line um, ended up getting to Brock and he couldn't wait for it. So there wasn't anything big difference, it was just, uh, our defense keeping us in the game and allowing us to just be patient and continue to do what we planned and play good football. And um, we didn't do that for two drives, but we'd like to say if we're in the game, it's a matter of time. And um, we got to go in there on the third drive. What kind of discipline does it take to be able to do that for, for full quarters and also still stop the box? Oh, a ton. I mean, it goes against everything in those guys' DNA and their coaches' DNA. Um, everything. Those guys want to tee off and go rush the quarterback every play, but 
Um, and they did at times, but you also you got to know who you're playing and the style of how that team beats people. And I thought our guys were very disciplined today, as disciplined as we have been that I can remember going against a, a mobile quarterback. And he still made a ton of plays like we knew he would. Um, but our guys just kept rallying. And I know they've covered a lot of ground out there. I was glad we got some extra guys up to rotate. And um, again, I'll watch on the plane, but I was, I was really proud of those guys. Uh, not really. Um, it's really cool when Schneider and Debo talked about it, and I um, mean, we, we had a good feeling you know, just how the week went that Ray Ray wasn't going to be able to make it. And once we found that out, um, and Schneider and Debo have been talking about it all week, which when a player's talking about it and you don't have to go ask them, then that's usually the way I want it. So I was very happy that he wanted to do it. Yeah, I don't envision anything going in. So, but you just envision playing as hard as you can, and you hope you play what you're capable of. And usually, you hope that's enough. Um, so, there wasn't much to last year with this. I mean, we were just excited to come out here and play a really good team and, and play well and get a win. Given the dynamic of everything that surrounded this game last year, the, the talk leading up to this game, the fact that you guys are kind of fighting for the number one overall seed, and the fact that you guys went down six nothing on two good drives, what did it show about you? What show you? Um, I, mean, I just loved how excited and ready our team was for this game. And when you are that amped up and ready to go and for, you know, I mean, they're all there. All the games are the same, but we understand how good that team is. We understand their record. And so that makes it always a little bit bigger. And our guys are really excited for the challenge. And when you come out with that much energy and that ready to go and things don't go well for a quarter, um, that was the thing I was most proud of. Our guys were able to weather the storm. I know it seems like there's panic, but you never felt it when they came to the sidelines. And usually when you carry yourself that way, I mean, if you can just stick in it, you know, usually good things happen after, and they did. I, th I think we're going the right direction. I think we've gotten, um, you know, I think after um, our skid, I think we've taken a step each week and gotten a little bit better. I thought we were a little bit better today than we were last week. And um, by no means do I think we're doing our best. I mean, there was a lot of things in that game that didn't go right, but um, I thought our intent was good. Um, obviously, our talent's good, and um, we just got to make sure we keep improving. Yeah, he had to gut it out. Um, you know, I, th I think he went out in the second half. Um, he was in and out throughout the game, but I wasn't told he was officially out and done. I want to say early in the fourth quarter. Um, I just think Brock did um, what he does always every week. He just he plays the game. He tries to play it the right way. That one of the best things he did when we were down, he didn't try to make too much stuff up and um, try to overcompensate when you're down. He just kept with the plan and kept doing his job and um, did a hell of a job with it. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. All right. Thanks, guys.